Hi everybody, it's me Tori and today I want to share with you one of the main questions I get asked often which is how do I make artwork that sells or how do I make sellable artwork and I'm gonna bust a myth for you because there isn't one way to sell artwork and nor is there a perfect way to do so people can spot a phony out of the crowd and so I advise you not to number one copy or number two try something that is inauthentic to you so the reason being is because when we create from a super authentic place that is our own personal creation and we have confidence in what we're creating, your artwork is destined to sell. If we feel like a fraud and we're trying hard and we're coming from a place of selling artwork and not from creating because I love to create artwork, then it's not going to sell. So number one is we need to get our motivation in line with who we are and why we create artwork in the first place. So when we're clear on that, there are tactics that you can apply to sell your artwork. And there are three ways that I'm going to share with you that I highly recommend to start creating flow in your business, especially when you're first starting out. So I would say the first thing to do is create prints. Start flash selling prints, create some hype around it. By doing so, you're not only going to create artwork at a lower cost, but there's also a huge range of the type of printing you can do. You can do super cheap printing and sell your work at an affordable cost, which is one thing I did when I first started out, or you can invest into silk screen printing or lithographs later on the road, which is really beautiful quality printing that like Picasso created. Um, and you can charge a couple hundred or as much as you want to charge for that. So there is a range in terms of starting out with selling prints. The second thing that I would recommend doing is creating merchandise. This is something I've also done and explored, which is putting your artwork on t-shirts, tote bags, hats, highly recommend doing it sustainably because there's already a lot of garbage in the world, but putting, printing your artwork where people can wear around um, and provide some marketing for you at a free cost um, and making it cheap so people can buy into it pretty easily as well as making sure you're making a profit off of it is a really great way for you to create artwork that sells. Later on, if you wanted to get into advertising and a paid spend, this is something that is quite easy to maintain and use for an e-commerce strategy later on down the road. The third recommendation for creating artwork that sells or sellable artwork is just creating smaller pieces of work so people can take a chance on you. I know that sounds interesting, but it's the truth. If we can create artwork that's smaller, that doesn't take you a lot of time to create, um, then I highly recommend doing so because People will purchase things if it's, there's not too much of a risk involved, if they do like your artwork. From then on, you can start to build the confidence of charging more for your artwork down the road. When it comes to shipping and stuff, I have a YouTube video about shipping from home. Um, if you wanna check that out, I highly recommend because shipping from your house is a lot cheaper than going to the post office. So there you have it. Those are my three tips for making sellable artwork or artwork that sells um, and making sure you're staying true to your authentic self while doing so. If you have any questions or if there's any topics you want me to cover, please put it in the comment box below. I'm eager to support you in your artistic journey. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, these are going to go live every morning at 8 a.m. PST on Thursdays, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for supporting my channel. Bye.